How to Bridge PHP BB3 with Joomla Bridging is the process in which two web software programs are integrated in some way. The best Joomla extension for bridging with PHP BB3 is called Medi's PHP BB3 Bridge. Bridging is a complicated process, so this tutorial is targeted at intermediate Joomla administrators. This bridge allows you to separately enable visual integration and user integration. It requires PHP 5 to function. You'll need access to PHP MyAdmin, an FTP client, and a text editor. You'll also need to have already installed PHP BB3. As with all extensions we'll be showing you, start by going to extensions.joomla.org. Then, navigate to the Bridges, Forum Bridges category and find the page for Medi's PHP BB3 Bridge. Click Download. Before we begin, you'll need to ensure that your main administrator accounts in Joomla and PHP BB3 have the same name, i.e. admin. If you have many PHP BB3 users, you'll probably also want to ensure that as many users as possible register a new Joomla user account with the identical name before proceeding. If all PHP BB3 users do not have a corresponding Joomla account, those users that don't will have to reset their passwords in Joomla. Let us begin. Scroll down to the Download Now button. Click it. Save the file to your computer. Locate and extract the archive. If your version of PHP BB3 matches the number specified in this folder's name, you're in luck. You don't have to edit any of PHP BB3's files. Simply go inside this folder and upload all files contained in the hacked folder to your PHP BB3 root directory. Then do the same with everything in the bridge folder. If your version doesn't match, or if you're not sure what your version is, you'll have to edit and rename some files by hand. Start by downloading your entire PHP BB3 directory to a subfolder here. When finished, copy the files Quick Process 2.bat and begin 2.txt from the Others folder to the folder you just created. Hold down Control and select both files. Go up. Press Control plus C to copy. Press Control plus V to paste, then scroll down to find the files. Double-click the .bat file to run it. This command prompt will appear. Press a key to continue. Again, press a key. Notice, many of the file sizes have changed to 1 kilobyte. Scroll down. The original files have been moved down here, with ink added in the front. Scroll back up. Go inside the admin folder. Rename index.php in the same manner. Now, copy the index.php file that was created in the previous directory to here and open it with your favorite text editor. Adjust the current folder. Add a period to refer to the previous directory. Press Ctrl plus S to save. Return to Windows Explorer. Press Ctrl plus C to copy this file, then go up one directory. Click Download. Rename file.php as before. Paste the file you copied with Ctrl plus V. Rename this one to file.php. 
Now, edit this file. Change index to file. Then change the folder to download. Press Ctrl plus S to save. Go up to Directories. Go into the PHP BB directory that was included with the bridge files. Enter the hacked directory. Then includes UTF. Copy UTF tools.php. Return to the main directory. Enter our PHP BB3 directory again. Go to Includes. UTF. Rename the existing file as before. Paste the copied file. Then, open the ink file with the text editor. Add the following code to this line. Save and return to the main folder. Now go to Bridge. Open the selected file. Here's where you choose which kind of integration you'll want to enable later. For now, leave this alone. Update the URL and relative path. Save the file. Now, select all the files in this directory and copy them to our working PHP BB3 directory. Paste the files. Overwrite all when prompted. Press Ctrl plus A to select all files in this directory. Now, Upload everything to the PHP BB3 folder on your FTP. Before testing the changes we made, we must first go to PHP MyAdmin and execute the bridge SQL file. Choose your PHP BB database. Go to Import. Browse for the SQL file. It's in the Others directory. Scroll down. Click Go. The query was executed successfully. The table has been created. Scroll the menu frame down. If your Joomla and PHPBB installations share a database, Skip the following step. Click the link to the PHP BB Users table. If yours is called something else, take note of that, since you'll have an extra step later. Click Operations. Scroll down until you see Copy Table 2. Specify the Joomla database. Type PHP BB users. Switch to the copy table. Click Go. Now, go to Joomla and install the component package contained in the Others folder. For assistance with installing extensions, watch the second tutorial in this series. Now, Choose the menu to which we'll add a PHP BB link and go to its item manager. Scroll right. Click New. Scroll down. Click External Link. Enter a title. Enter a link to your PHP BB folder. Click Save. Scroll down and right. 
Make note of the item ID for the PHP BB menu link. You'll need it later. Now, let's verify that PHP BB3 still works. Go to its admin CP. No error messages, so everything seems to have worked so far. Click Styles. Next to Bridge Silver, click Install. Make this the default. Click Submit. Go back. Click Deactivate. Now, go to General and scroll down. Under Client Communication, click Authentication. Select Joomla 15 from the list. Scroll down. Click Submit. There's one final step before enabling the bridge. In the Others folder, there is a PHP script called QuickMerge2.php that will merge the PHP user database with Joomla's. At the top of that file, there is a PHP variable called MyTable. If your PHP BB user table is not PHP BB users, you will need to change that variable to the correct value. Then, upload the file to your root Joomla directory, run the script from your browser, and delete it from your FTP. After you run the file, you should see a page similar to this one. This PHP BB3 installation had no additional users. All that remains is to update the config file we edited earlier. Reopen Joom PHP BB Conf 2 PHP. Change this to 3 to enable visual and user integration. Enter the item ID noted earlier. Save and upload this file, then go to the Joomla front end to see if everything works. Click the PHP BB link. Visual integration seems to have worked. Let's see about user integration. Scroll down. As you can see, the editor account we were logged into in Joomla was automatically transferred over to PHP BB. At last, the bridging was a success. This is the end of the tutorial. You now know how to bridge PHP BB with Joomla.